An 18-month-long federal investigation into the Gwinnett County Jail has resulted in its first indictment. Former Deputy Aaron Masters is accused of violating the civil rights of a mentally challenged inmate when he repeatedly beat her in the head during a confrontation in her cell. Well, Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis has spent years investigating complaints about how some inmates are treated there, and he joins us now with more. Randy? That's right, Russ and Courtney. Masters already faces a state charge of battery for what happened in August of 2018. The only member of the jail's rapid response team to be arrested for questionable actions with an inmate. A separate civil lawsuit insists there are many more examples. Deputies recorded Shelby Clark banging her head against the wall before they decided to rush her cell to stop what they called self-harming behavior. The harm would grow even worse. You can see rapid response team member Aaron Masters hit Clark three times in the head during the encounter. One week later, the black eye was still a disturbing reminder of that video. I only watched it one time, I can't watch it again. But no matter what you do, nobody should deserve to get hit like that. When that authorities agreed, they charged Masters with battery. He immediately resigned. But the timing of the incident could not have been worse. Weeks earlier, a federal grand jury had begun reviewing videos of other forced encounters with Gwinnett jail inmates, also involving the rapid response team, assigned to subdue unruly prisoners. But our review of the videos found multiple examples of inmates sitting quietly. The RRT rushed in violently anyway. Sheriff Butch Conway backed his deputies and resisted making any changes to how the rapid response team handled prisoners. 75 current or former inmates joined a federal civil rights lawsuit against the Gwinnett County Jail, a case that has been slowly working through the courts. One of those plaintiffs, Shelby Clark. The federal indictment against Masters accuses him of violating her civil rights and falsifying a report of the incident. In a written statement, U.S. Attorney B.J. Pack said he recognized corrections officers have a difficult job. However, quote, this deputy sheriff must be held accountable for allegedly abusing his authority. And the only comment, Courtney, we got from the Gwinnett County Sheriff's Office is to point out that they were the ones who originally charged Masters in the first place mm -hmm. when they saw that video a couple of years ago. It's interesting. And what's the status of the civil suit? You know, it's been going on for six years now, more than six years. In fact, we checked with uh, Gwinnett County back in August, and they said that they had spent more than half a million dollars in outside mm -hmm. legal fees at that point. So it's certainly much more than that. The case is going on. They've been ordered into mediation now. Uh, coincidentally, that was going on today. No word on whether they made any progress. But if they don't make any progress, the case will go to trial. Mm. All right, I'm sure you'll stay right on top of that we for will. us. All right, Randy, thank you. Yep. We move